Scorpio, what's going on? This is a reading for Scorpio North Node. All right, this is the Scorpio North Node reading for the month of September. I hope all is well. Peace and blessings, North Node Scorpio. This is going to be a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Reach out to me. My information is in the box below. All right, let's see what's going on. Now, I was just looking at the uh, planetary alignments here. And you know, Uranus is in the opposite polarity. Uranus is in Taurus, right? So your south node is in Taurus. All right. So your south node is the energies you've already mastered in this, uh, you've already mastered in the past life or in your early childhood years or your early adult years, depending on how old you are, right? It could be before your Saturn return, all right? And up to your Saturn return. Now, your energy is Taurus, is your south node. So you've mastered the energies of you know, um, be having a beautiful, calm, real calm, peaceful lifestyle, right? Things were, everything was provided for you. You had everything you needed. All your needs were met. You didn't want for anything. Everything was peaceful. You were happy, right? No problems, anything like that. You could have been very well off, right? Can come from a very rich family, well off family. Or, you know, maybe you earned your money through, uh, you know, working, right? But you had a lot of money in your past life, right? You didn't need for anything. You were taken care of. In this life, um, you're going to be put in situations so you, you were comfortable, right? So there was no need for change. So in this life, you now need to take the tools that you've learned from the Taurus energy and use it to master the Scorpio energy, the Scorpio energy is about accepting change and dealing psychologically with the transformation of it, right? Where Taurus is dealing with the change, the physical change. Scorpio deals with the psychological, the, the mental change, right? So um, for some of you here, well, for those of you who are watching this in your south node, I'm sorry, your north node Scorpio, Uranus is in your south node in retrograde. So this could be an energy of seeing things spiral out of control and now you have to figure out how to put your pieces back together or it could be that things have slowed down in some way, okay? And when we're dealing with tourists, we could be dealing with money, we could be dealing with resources, so maybe resources have slowed down um, in some way. Uh, I feel like that's what's going on since, uh, what is this, August 24th. Um, you know, money has slowed down for a lot of people Okay, and whatever area you have the Taurus South Node in, that's the area of life where your tangible assets may be decreasing um, and you may need to um, take stock of it. Okay, so if it's in your second house, so, um, you know, if Scorpio is your sun sign and you got your, your North Node there and or your South Node there, you're dealing with energies in your, in your uh, second house which are your tangible assets. So some of you may need to cut back or you may see your money cut back some, right? Your expense, you, maybe you uh, would be uh, beneficial for you to cut back on your living expenses, right? Um, could be things going on with real estate. What did I just see the other day? Something about the real estate bust or the real estate bubble bursting. But at any rate, the overall energy for your read that's what i wanted to talk to you about before we did the reading so those are some of the things that you might be dealing with depending on where the north node is you're gonna have to change in some way shape or form right um and and learn to comfort yourself during the change use the energies of taurus that you learn to comfort yourself use those energies to try to comfort yourself through the transformation and accept the transformation and go through it the universe is going to put situations in your way that are going to make you uncomfortable until you get up and you move and do something about it, right? Um, and so whatever area you have Scorpio in, as far as your north node, that's the area that you're going to see the change. What's going to keep you from going successfully through those transformations, what's going to keep you from recognizing them and accepting it and humbling yourself and going through them is that opposite polarity of Taurus. You're trying to control and hold on um, and not allowing the transformation to take place. 
because there's a comfort there in some way, shape, or form. Taurus deals with comforts. So we have the overall energy of the um, temperance energy in reverse. See, something is upside down. Something is not where it needs to be. The cards we have here are the... Oh, there's your energy, judgment in reverse. The two of pentacles. The eight of pentacles in reverse. Six of swords. Three of swords came out in reverse. So there's transformation going on in your world right now. And what may be restricting your transformation could be the lack of resources to get you through it as comfortably as you'd like. So say, for example, you are in the process of moving. And uh, say you have the Scorpio North Node in your fourth house, right? Um, and the Taurus South Node is in your, what is that, four and ten? Yeah. Yeah. It's in your 10th house. So maybe you cut back out. Maybe you get your hours cut back at work. And you may have a difficult time paying rent. Or you may have to look for a place that's less expensive. Or maybe you have to uh, look for a roommate. Or cut back on funds. Um, with Uranus and retrograde in your 10th um, house. Right? That could be an example of what you may experience. So with judgment energy in reverse here. It's like maybe you um, are looking back at a situation that you may have not judged correctly or you've made the judgment you've made the decision now we have to deal with what's going on the challenge is, is you're trying to make sense of things you're trying to uh, figure out what is what okay and I feel like your guides are telling you that um, that's not working whatever it is you're doing is not working um, it's not allowing you to go where you need to go it's not giving you what it is that you need so that you can do what you're supposed to do. And I feel like um, what the universe wants you to focus on is moving forward, moving on, right? Accepting the fact that you need to move on. Because like I said, uh, the scorpionic energy is psychological. So it's in your mind. So if you can tap into your Aquarius energy, which is where Saturn is, and what's Saturn doing in there? It's in, it's in retrograde. What's Saturn doing in there? It's restricting you from moving forward. Right? But guess what? Saturn is about to go direct uh, in October. So, the transformation that you are going through, um, when Saturn is in retrograde, it's making you question, is it time to go? Is it time to let this go? Isn't it time to move on? The answer is yes. So I feel like for some of you, by the time uh, October is here, if you're not already in that energy, you will have come to the uh, conclusion that you have to change something. You know, maybe some of you are in denial about it now, or some of you may have already done that. You may have already changed what you needed to change because scorpionic energy is transformation so you may have already accepted what was going on but i feel like with temperance energy in reverse here some of you not so much not yet but i feel like you're gonna get there this is what the universe wants you to focus on is getting there but something's not working with the eight of pentacle energy in reverse you're wasting your time here okay this is the sun in um what is this, Virgo? Is this the sun in Virgo? It is. It's the sun in Virgo. It's in reverse. So yeah, you're not seeing that this is not working. Or it could be finances because we're dealing with Jupiter. The two of pentacles, I'm sorry, we're dealing with judgment. Pluto energy. Pluto's about money as well. So we all really need to be also looking at where Pluto is for you. And it's in uh, Capricorn. Pluto's about to go direct as well. So in October. So for some of you, it could be your money. You're juggling money with your two of pentacles here. You're trying to, you know, could be an energy for some of you of robbing Peter to pay Paul. Uh, but you don't have enough. Maybe you need more money. For some of you, you may not be making enough with this Eight of Pentacles energy in reverse. Um, and it's time for you to uh, to change it up. You may have to move. You may have to relocate. You may have to... Uh, some of you uh, may have... Um, 
you may need to leave their, your job for whatever reason. You may need to look on elsewhere. The universe may be telling you you need to move on elsewhere from someplace else and let this place go. If you're dealing with this at a job, if it's a relationship, it's time for you to move on from it and let it go. It's not working. It's not benefiting you. You're putting in work and you're not getting anything out of it. Okay? Especially a job. Especially a job. Let's take a look at these top five cards. But a relationship as well. Some type of partnership. Anything where you're dealing with other people's energy. Because that's what we're dealing with with Pluto and Scorpio. Okay? Other people's energy. Other people's money. All right? So for some of you, um, you may have gone into business with someone and you realize that this shit is just not working. <laughs> you two are just not, uh, you two don't, you're not, you don't have the same beliefs. You don't, you don't have, you don't have the same morals and values, you know, ethics, things like that, which is like Sagittarius energy with the temperance energy in reverse. You two don't, you're not, too, you're not spiritually aligned at all. Okay. And I feel like you know this, and you may be feeling like with the judgment energy in reverse, you you may have been ignoring it for a while. You may have known it to be true, but the connection was so strong. And now you're, you know, you're looking at it and you're like, okay, how do I let this go? Because for some of you, you already are like, yeah, I want to move on. You're over it. You're done with this. So the cards that we got on top are temperance energy in reverse, right? Not being treated fair to. This could be discrimination at the job. Okay. We have the... Uh, <laughs> the lover's energy. Excuse me. I don't know where, why I was in another world when we were talking here. Alright. So that's the Gemini energy. With the lovers. Another major arcana here. But it came out in reverse. What is this? Damn it. The Hierophant, excuse me. Came out in reverse. Ten of Wands. Eight of Wands. So, yeah, it's, you two are not evenly aligned. Somebody needed to make a choice. Okay, in some way, shape, or form. All right, so there's three people here. There's a Three of Swords here. In reverse. So for some of you, this could have been a, a, a choice between um, anything. Okay? It could have been a choice between two people. could have been a choice between a job and a person. Uh, you know, any combination of a person, place, thing, or idea. Okay? So there was a choice that had to be made. And we know that because judgment is here in reverse. You're, you're looking at the choice and maybe you're feeling as if, you know, that was the wrong choice with the higher fit energy in reverse. Some of you went back against your higher self. You knew that this wasn't working. But you, you did it anyway. Here's another energy of Virgo not working. Virgo's all about work. When it's in reverse, it's not working. <laughs> These cards are in reverse. All right? The Hierophant's in reverse. So you got, you know, you got tired. Okay? Is what I'm getting here. And so maybe you expressed yourself. Or you moved away. Or you're going to. It could be. It could be that you're going to move away. For some of you, you're going to leave, you're going to quit, you're going to move. Now, hopefully this is not somebody feeling this way about you. Because that could be. But I feel like for most of you, you are looking at a situation like, ah, uh, this is the end of the rope here. Uh, I think it's time for me to start considering it. Uh, it's time to get off and move on, right? Um, there could have been a major um, situation that happened with the tower, and I'm not the tower of judgment, energy in reverse. Um, some of you, this could have had something to do with money. Some of you could have lost some money, okay? Or maybe you're considering cutting, some of you could have cut back. On your spending okay with uh, the Pluto energy in reverse because Pluto does deal with money and you, the challenge is is what do you cut back on right 
and I feel like for some of you, you realize that, um, you know, you were spending too much and you weren't making enough. And so some of you, maybe you decided to actually move. Okay. And with the three of sword energy in reverse here, maybe you, um, whatever this chance, just change was, it was very challenging for you. And maybe you were able to get over it with the three of swords energy in reverse. But for some of you, this is a person. A third party situation. You and this person just have two different lifestyles as far as, you know, um, the way you view relationships <clears throat> is what I'm getting here. For others of you cutting back money, trying to make a decision on if you should, um, yeah, the Hierophant is here. And yeah, some of you definitely moving because Gemini rules the third house. Some of you are thinking about moving. But with the Hierophant energy in reverse, you put it off. That's where the judgment energy came in reverse. You thought about it before. It came to mind before. The universe gave you a little nudge before. Like, come on, stop for you to make move. And you ignored it. Or you thought, okay, that was it. It's not necessarily that you ignored it. It's like sometimes you have to have two or three nudges for you to be like, oh, okay. The first nudge could just be like, oh, you know, things have bumps in the road. We had a bump in the road. Okay, now we've moved past it. Let's move on. But when things keep happening consistently, you know, if it ain't one thing, it's another type of thing, the universe is warning you. So for some of you, you're going to see more consistency if you're not seeing it yet in this area of life where things are not going to be working out. Okay. Um, so, hmm. yeah, some of you are going to get tired of it and you're going to start, you know, maybe looking for another job and, you know, maybe you start... <laughs> Or, you know, you realize that this person, um, you're getting tired of this person, and so um, you start telling them how you feel. You start tell, you tell them, look, I see what you're doing. I see what's up with you. You know, you had me fooled for a minute, but uh, you had me over for a minute, but uh, no more of that. Yeah, this person may have lied to you about a child. They may have uh, withheld the fact that they uh, may have had a child with somebody. This could be somebody who just didn't want anything more than just, you know, a, um, you know, a rump in the hay from time to time. And some of you are coming to the conclusion, whatever it is, it's not working. It's time for you to make moves, okay? Listen to your intuition. That's what I got for you, North Node and Scorpio. If you need a personal, feel free to reach out. My information is in the box below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when I post. Oh, make sure you check out my other channel, which is Many Styles of Tarot. The link for that's in the box below as well. See you guys in the next reading. North Node and Scorpio. Peace out.